Here's another example with transformations. Our transformation that we're going to focus on is this one half. So let's talk about the parent. The parent is a square root function. So if you remember the square root function for a parent, it kind of starts off here and goes off to the right. Well, we want to figure out what happens when you multiply by one half. Notice where the one half is. The one half is inside the function. And it's multiplying. So, what it asks us to do on the next slide, we look down here in the blue. It's a multiplier inside the function. It affects the x-axis by 1 over b. So we have to flip. Flip, flip, flip. So let's go back. We're going to flip this number. So instead of it being 1 over 2, it's going to be 2 over 1, which equals 2. That is our b value. So now we come back to our slide. Is our b value greater than 1, or is it a fraction? Again, after the flip. I'm going to erase this. It's not a fraction. Remember, our b value was 2. It's greater than 1. So the rule is it's a horizontal stretch by b, by 2. So our rule is we're going to multiply our x values by 2 there after the flip. So our verbal is a horizontal, that's your x-axis, stretch by 2. The rule is we're multiplying all the x values by 2, by whatever that b is. All right, so we're going to multiply this by 2. Our g of x function is the square root of 1 half with x. f of x equals the square root of x. All right, so let's go ahead and evaluate. The square root of negative 2 doesn't exist. Negative doesn't exist. Same thing happens with square root of negative 1. Well, the square root of 0 will be our first number. The square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 2 is approximately 1.4. Let's go ahead and graph those order pairs. 0, 0, 1, 1, over 2, up 1.4. Again, if I'm going too fast, please make sure you pause and write down. Now, we're going to go ahead and take care of the transformation. So our y value does not change at all. So these values don't change. So let's go ahead and rewrite those again. Doesn't exist, doesn't exist, 0, 1, and 1.4. But now these values we're going to multiply by 2. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1.4 is 2.8. All right. Let's go ahead and graph those. 0, 0, over 2, up 1, over 2.8, of 1.4. And there is our g of x function. Now let's talk about the domain and range. For the domain, do this in yellow. Remember, domain works on your x-axis. So x equals 0 here. Everything to the right of that line exists. So we say then x is greater than or equal to 0. Now I'm going to go to the changes to a green line. Horizontal line, that's our range. Y value is 0. So everything above that green line exists. So we say that our range then is Y is greater than or equal to 0. And this is for our G of X function. 